right. Cheers. The clap. That was a good pl- clap. Hello. I've never had the clap. Have you guys ever had any STDs? Yeah. Really? Actually, you know, I know you it's funny. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. I, I've never been checked. <laughs> I've, never been che- I've never been checked either. <laughs> I never, seriously, I've never been checked. I not, I wouldn't say you should. Not that Sam has any sort of like reason to be checked or whatever, yeah. except for Korea. But that's another thing. So, Well, I mean, it's not like I, <laughs> no, anything fishy anything. happened in Korea, if you know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. No, 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 no. Nothing fishy happened in Korea, but I seriously have never, never been checked, which I think I probably should being 28 years old. I feel like that's probably something that's normal that happens. No, if right? you don't go to the doctor, then they can't find anything and you're perfectly healthy. That's how it works. I've only had two partners, so, and I've never felt weird. So. Fucking loser. Wow. There you go. It's okay. <laughs> two partners. It's the magic. It's the magic. Magic number. <laughs> Aim for two, everybody. Got it. Aim Got it. Two. Aim yeah, for two. Three. You bust. Start over. <laughs> what, what, hold, on our, hold on. Our producer's talking. Yeah. What'd you say? I <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> untouchable. Yeah, untouchable. I guess yeah. I've never, I've never felt the bliss of a clean STD screening. <laughs> there we go. Just because I've never had an STD screening, not because yeah. I've had an STD. Pure yeah, pure high. Yeah, or not because I always have STDs. <laughs> Sorry. So what? What? Sam, tell me what happened in Korea. Oh, uh, okay. So um, I well, mean, you gotta listen to the story. Yeah, you okay, okay, okay. Sam, tell me, tell our, me what happened. Our in Korea. producer is going to listen to this story. Okay, so um, here's the story. This is going to be a long one, so bear with me. We'll chop this up for TikTok and we'll blow up. Um, yeah. So anyway, I I'm not going to go into too much detail. You guys know the detail why I was there, but for legal reasons, I probably shouldn't. Anyway, here we go. I didn't. Oh, hang out. But oh. I also would like to continue Scandalous. doing my job. <laughs> so, okay. True. I was working on a film set recently where we had to fly to South Korea and uh, the company that we were working for, um, they wanted to treat us for the first time. Most of everyone going to South Korea um, has never been to South Korea. I was the only one who's gone to South Korea. That's going to be my third trip that oh, I yeah. have been there. Okay. So anyway, they're like, hey, like, you know, when you guys get here, we want to take you out to like um, something really special that we do here in Korea. And we're like, oh, cool. Like, I know, like, you know, a lot of like Asian cultures, their respect is like, oh, uh, we want like food is respect in like Asian cultures. It's like normal. So sure. I didn't think anything of it. And they're like, we get there, we land, and we get to our hotel, Four Seasons. Anyway, um, so we uh, stay at this hotel and they're like, hey, when you guys get in, we're going to go out tonight. Uh, we're going to take you guys to a karaoke bar. And I was Ooh. like, fuck yes. Karaoke fucking rocks. Yeah, we uh, love, I mean, we all love karaoke we, bars. Shout out, shout out Barney's Beanery in Burbank. Nice. Nice. Um, so uh, I was like, karaoke bar, fuck yeah, let's go to this karaoke bar. So they're like, but here's the thing. You have to kind of like dress up a little bit. You have to like cut, look kind of good. And I'm not thinking anything of it being an American. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I've never been to a South Korean you karaoke, know, karaoke bar. bar. Yeah, I'm not on. expecting anything. So anyway, I get ready for this karaoke bar. Um, we get picked up by like, you know, whatever they rented a van for us. And well, I'm with a whole production team and they send us out to, uh, uh, meet up with this, uh, South Korean team. And we meet up with the CEO, which I won't say who they are, um, the CEO and then like the main production guy, um, of like this production, like big dogs, big like, dogs, like, like not the, like random crew yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and like the Jeff Bezos, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Bezos. We won't say what company though. Yeah, yeah, we. Well, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, who's the guy who makes Apple? Uh, Bill Steve Gates. Jobs. No, 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 the new guy. Oh, Tim Steve Cook. Jobs. Tim, Tim Cook. Cook. Tim Cook. He's they, out. The right? iPhone 14 dropped today. It did drop. Don't change the nah, subject. Now we just <laughs> gave away the date that we're on. What happened in South Korea? Yeah. Uh, oh, we will cut that You up. go out with the execs from this big company. You're all dressed up. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, like, okay. hey, you're right, right, back to we are. Okay. What so um, we, we go out, we get to this place and, I, you know, obviously I can't read anything because everything is written in Korean. We're walking around. We get to this one building. We walk in and 
like it's kind of like dimly lit and like I'm expecting like a lot of like terrible singing because that's normally what happens at a karaoke bar, right? Also racist. Uh, also racist. Wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't say they were just singing like Asians. You know, I didn't say that. That was the most racist of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I, I, um, we walk in and they're like, take us to like these two round tables that we have like a group of like 15 people in our production just in just their two guys. So we go and sit at this table, but they're like, okay, when you sit at this table, make sure you leave a um, chair open air between every single person. Um, so it's me, empty chair. Like musical uh, chairs or something. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, who right? knows? Yeah, exactly. It's South Korea. Exactly. So it's chair, empty seat, next person, empty seat, ne- all the way around these, these tables. So I'm like, okay, like, weird. I'm still not thinking anything of it. And eventually we're just talking, hanging out. They bring us drinks and stuff like that. And we're just all talking. And then um, the two guys, they say, okay, are you guys ready uh, for this experience um, is roughly what it was translated to. Yeah. Are you re- ready for this experience? Yes. Okay. Bring the girls over. Goes like that. Snaps. Bang. <laughs> snaps in the air. And a group of like 20 girls walks up to the table. Oh, yeah. And he says, now choose the one you want. Like as a duet partner? No, yeah. no, no, no. As because <clears throat> I, I, he didn't explain anything to us. So he sure. says, "Choose the one that you want." And I was like, "What do you?" I said, "What do you mean?" And he's like, "The one you want to be your companion for the night, and oh. if you want extra." There we go. Oh so I'm realizing now, this is prostitution. And that's Whoops. Sam's kind of party. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> this I, is right up his alley. We call this Sam's wheelhouse, actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm known for my prostitution. Oh, it's prostitution again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. you know, <laughs> prostitution. I thought maybe they wouldn't have me want to kill one of these girls again. I can't do that again. <laughs> well, here, you want to know what the weirdest part was, though? Is we're sitting there and they're like, okay, but here's the thing. Do any of you not like any of these girls? I'm like... But before he told us that we had to choose one, he's like, do you like, do you not like any of these girls? I'm like, no, they're fine. Like, you know, being nice. I'm like, yeah, they're fine. And he's like, okay, because if you don't like, if you don't like, (laughs) if you don't like any of these girls, we're going to get a new batch for us. And that's what the girls sounded like when they heard that. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. You <laughs> no, tell no, me. That, sounds, that <laughs> yeah. was a that was a dishwasher running. They were all. <laughs> don't give away the studio they were all secret wet. magic. Also, right? I don't think I can. You can't. You can't. Hear, no, you can't. The dishwasher hear it. Nah, probably not. Probably not. But so uh, so I was like, so if we didn't like any of these girls, you guys would just get rid of them, and there would be a new group of twenties. Like, yeah. Like I asked a dumb question. Yeah, yeah you're just you like moron. you're just like on a work on a work trip. You've been on work trips yeah. before. Probably you've been on work trips to South Korea before. Yeah. And I guess no one's asked you to do karaoke, which I've done. I mean, I've done Korean ca- Korean karaoke in America, mm. which is not like that. Mm. Uh, it's very fun. Very wholesome. Fun for the whole family. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but so you're just like. I'm going to let you know now. There was no singing. Not one note was <laughs> sang the entire night. Zero song. <laughs> Ooh. Zero singing. Karaoke bar, it's a front. He's like, yeah, you can also get this at hair salons. It's a complete bang. And Jesus massage Christ. parlors, which we all know. You yeah, know, we get that, that, that last if, one. If a company trip took me over to here. us all to a massage parlor, yeah. Yeah. I'd be ready when they say, hey, yeah. which girl do you like? I'd be like, okay. Yeah. Okay, I know what's going on I here. get this. Shout get out it. Robert Kraft. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, yeah so, well, with karaoke, yeah, that's I'm blindsided. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected that. Yeah, no, it was it was so weird. But anyway, uh, thankfully, the producer was like, who we were with, was like, yeah, you guys are fucking weird. We're out, and then we just left. He just left <laughs> so them there's all a there. group of these twenty <laughs> girls, these two yeah. South Korean dudes, and then they're, we're just like, we're leaving, and then we <laughs> all left them, and it, they were like so embarrassed by it, and I was like, well. Dude, could it's, you imagine being one of those girls not speaking English, knowing what your job is, though, being brought out, then the entire group leaves? How bad do you feel about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> do you go, like, oh, like, look at everybody and just go, like, they hated us that much? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I like, also, they're just used to getting sent away, I, That's true. I guess that comes with the territory. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's weird. Prostitution, I feel like it's either, like... Prostitution's weird. You, it's either, yeah. as, a, as a customer, something you, you're, like... I am, I've had my virginity too long and I want to lose it. And I'm making this big decision to lose it to a prostitute. Or apparently it's like, 
Oh, prostitutes? Hell yeah. Dude. It's that there's no in between. There's zero there's in no between. There's you no like kind of like a prostitute. Maybe I'll do no. a prostitute like later on this week. Like nobody <laughs> nobody thinks that, do they? That's I, not how it works. Yeah, I feel like it's you've either done it once and you're like never again, or you're like, I do this a lot. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Prostitutes? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. So anyway, that's that's my South Korea story. All right. Well, yeah, South so, Korea with the good side story. of sex trafficking. <laughs> yeah. Good story. Anyway, what have you guys right. been up to? By the way, welcome to the Given Podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I mean we're clipping all this shit anyway. Yeah, we are Given. This is the Given Podcast. We are on a bed. Uh, we are starting an old. We fans. killed our drummer. We did kill the drummer. He's not here. Yeah. Because he's in hell mixing our record. That's true. <laughs> That's how good our music sounds. Going yeah, wait till you hear this new stuff. It sucks. <laughs> Videos suck harder. It's, it's all bad. It's all really, really bad. You know, you, Gone downhill. There, do you think there's an audience out there for bands who suck? Because I bet there is an audience out there for bands who suck. I bet you there is. <clears throat> They're called No Pressure Fans. Mm, and- bro. <laughs> I'm trying to build rapport. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're just destroying rapport with me. I know, I know. Ouch. This is all a joke. I do. I love the new No Pressure album. Don't get it twisted. But I know that it just kills Brian inside to hear anyone speak badly about that band. Would it be slander if I told you I don't even know who that band is? No Pressure is Parker from Story So Far's side, side. pop punk project. Oh, yeah. wow. And it, it is like, a, like I saw them play it. Brian's going to kill me after this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, he loves I, Starzone. I, I, so let me finish talking about No Pressure. <laughs> Jesus. Don't fucking interrupt. Uh, I'm literally, I'm talking about Parker Cannon right now. Just shut up yeah. and let me do Saved it. Saved in chest. Lord and Savior. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, I, saw them, I saw them, but then, like, I saw them play at Chain Reaction, and he's like jumping around, like holding out the mic and shit. Like, it's like, it's like a rad pop punk band as opposed to like yeah. story so far is kind of feels like a serious rock band now, you know? Yeah, that's true. But story so far hasn't put anything out in too long and also way too long, way too long. What's going on with that? Parker McKinnon with your pa- caved in chest, paved in chest <laughs> cement. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought about, I thought about this story that I just wanted to share. It's a very quick story. Please. It, it feels, Hey, look at that. Looks kind of like a ball sack. You can't see that, I don't think. Zoom in on I that. I can see that, yeah. Yeah. Zoom in on that. Producer. That. You see that? <laughs> There's a little penis. I'll make a penis. I'll make a penis later. Yeah. Um, one time I was, I was, I was in a different, I was in another band. So I was, it was a band that I shouldn't have been in. It was not my style. The dude's like. The band's name is Good Terms. The, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This was like, this was a back in Boston. Um, and it was like the only time I've ever been around cocaine. Just like, just like not the vibe. And it was like 1975-y, like before I was into 1975. And, um, but there was one time, the, the band did nothing to do with the story. We're just packing up like late at night to go on a trip to New York. And I'm, I'm walking down Commonwealth on in Boston, which is like a big street, like a nice street, like brownstones with like steps down to the, down to the street and stuff and like a, a middle area with trees. And I just look at like a parked car. It's like 9 p.m. on probably like a Thursday or Friday night. And I look at a, I'm looking at a parked car and there's just a dude getting head. <laughs> and he and he he looked up at me and we made eye contacts. And I was just like, all right, so what needs to go in the car next? Like like back to my packing up with the band, just like, okay. Yep, like that right. dude's getting head right now. It's just like she's they're in a they're parked, so they're not. It's not even road ahead. It's just wait, like, wait, was hey this- man, we're in a box with windows. There we go. That's all we need. Wait, this was outside? Yeah, man, this is just on the side of well, a, they were in a car. They're in a car. They're oh, in a car. Okay. They're, but and then you heard that noise. And they're they're in like, a car, yeah. but I just see him because he's in a he's in a parked car on the side of the street. Yeah. Like like he's the car next to me. Yeah. He's just oh like Oh my god. He's just like getting ahead. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't Would I be able to get it up out there? I don't I, know if I would. The pressure would be pretty immense, I think. Right? I mean, like a band's loading in, you're like, I really want to impress this 1975 kind of band. <laughs> they were really good. They were really good. And from Boston. And from Boston. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to imagine, I think, I think that I like imagine that he, he was getting ahead first and then he's just like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Look at these four losers. 20 year old fucks. <laughs> Cause he's like an older dude. Yeah, he's like yeah. an older dude. He's like in his How like, old, like, like like I had to be in his thirties. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This changes things. Cause if it's like a twenty-two year old kid, I'll give it to him. He probably lives in an apartment. He has roommates. No nah, man, things are difficult. This if is a you're man. Thirty. This is a man and a woman. And this is what's happening. This is either this is either like a thing where you go like this is our like thing that we like to yeah. do, or I don't know. It, 
Let's Dude, be pub- honest. public sex, people, people like public sex. People really like it. Is it is not a deep I'm two kink. years away from being that guy, by the way. Yeah. What? I'm two years away from being that I guy, 30 years old in a car <laughs> and just getting head. And I'm like, I that, guess. that would mean that that would mean that would require you to getting ahead in a car. Are you That's getting, true. Are you getting ahead <laughs> in the car <laughs> now? You're doing, and we're all cutting you a break because you you're in your 20s. You have then, an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> you have a home, Sam. Why would you do this? Because well, it's more adventurous. <laughs> I guess. No, adventurous. Yeah, because you want to because you want to you want to get it over with the 1975 band that's yeah. packing up on the street. Yeah. Well, maybe he did it to impress you guys. Like, oh, this band's about to come out. Come over here, baby. And. Do your thing. Do your thing. The band's coming out. Maybe they'll want to talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is going to impress them. <laughs> it, like, it impressed Brian's upon me. Like, hey, man, are you getting head? Come out here and have a beer. Oh, yeah, get out Come here. Come out here. Come on. Hey, this, guy, hey, this guy's getting head. Yo, let's talk to this guy. Yo. <laughs> Yo, if it was given though, we'd interview him on the spot. We would in here. Oh have my cameras. god, we would. We'd have cameras, microphones, lighting equipment. Yep. Chase we'd could be, be going base. like we'd have hey, a triple cam setup. Yeah, we'd have you know, multi cam setup like we're a fucking a, sitcom there, in the nineties. There'd be a cam in like, the car what's already. Your name? Yeah. We'd have GoPro mounted shit. And like he'd be like, "How the gear. fuck? When did you mount this fucking GoPro in my rear view mirror?" <laughs> you're like, "Don't worry about it." The cameras. There it is. You're on. You're on Given Live, dude. Given Live. <laughs> us stressing out to put the equipment together while he's just like, I'm done what? getting head. Yeah. Like, it's already over. She's gone. And we're like, well, let's talk Wait about second. it. Though. Wait a second. Yeah. Call her back. Yeah. Him. Speaking of Give In Live, I'd love to just tell everyone real quick how we as a band formed. Uh, mm. our, our drummer Jordan isn't here, but there are four of us. Our four. Yes. Uh, we all met in the lovely valley, the San Fernando Valley. Uh, we were working on a video shoot. It was an explicit video shoot. Yeah. Um, and we had a very special job, yeah. a hard job. Difficult. Um, and, and anytime it wasn't hard, it was our job to make it hard again. We were all fluffers yeah. On, yeah. A, on, a, on a porn set. Yeah. Uh, all four of us assigned to four different you know, great male porn stars. Yeah, yeah. Respected, I mean, I, yeah. highly respected male porn stars. To be honest, stars. I really miss those days. They, yeah, uh, simpler time before the band, before the music. But way before, yeah, because yeah, like once we got into this, I was like, yeah, like this is fun, but like, but it's fluffing. not, it's not making a dick hard. No, no, it's, it's not, not making a dick hard. Yeah. Nothing beats that. I mean, there's like two. There's like getting a clear STD check when it comes back and you're good to go. As and the then, male porn stars hopefully do on Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tested religiously, I believe. Yeah. And um, and then, yeah, you know, completing your job as a fluffer, making sure your guy's ready, it, ready to go out there and do battle. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> there's just something about making a dick hard. <laughs> and I just, I just clearly remember, you know, I was, I was, you know, fluffing. And Chase is sitting over there and he's fluffing and he's going, I kissed a girl and I looked. And I was like, yeah. Wait a dude, second. You want to start a band? Yeah. Yeah. That's and uh, yeah, and then Jordan and 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 and, and Sam were there and they they were fluffing too and they were like, "Yeah, I get down with that. Like, let's yeah. let's I'll get down with almost anything. I'm a fluffer." Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and actually uh, a quick side note, fun fact, Katy Perry song singing that that particular individual that I was working with, only way he could get it up. Katy really? Perry songs. Yep, that was it. I actually didn't know that. I didn't that. know that part either. That's yeah. really fun. Whoa. Fun facts. You learn something new every day. So, wow. oh, wait, so you, he would be like, Chase, put on the song? No, no he'd be like, it. sing it to you me. You sing it. You sing it. That's Katie why Perry you were singing it. So you went yeah. singing with the song. So you heard, I heard him singing him, it dry. And you were just yeah. working. Raw. I thought that's. I thought that was like a part of your musical DNA. No, 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 So no. there was, it was raw, no protection of the song. It was, there was zero protection. Zero protection. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I tried other people. I tried, you know, my Cyrus. I tried. I came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I mean, it's just no go. Party in the Katy USA. Perry, no, no party in the USA. Wow. No Lady Gaga. T. Swifty, no like, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Works. Poker song, yeah. know, poker face, none of that shit. Wow. Had to be Katy Perry. Wow. No uh, kidding. A male porn star fluffer uh, anomaly. Well, yeah. Well, how did world. you guys even get involved in the first place? Because, I, I mean, you know, I obviously we've known each other for a long time. I don't know how you guys even got started. Okay, so I I played guitar in my, my high school band program, right? Yeah. There we go. Um, and when I got out of my high school band program, I went really hard. I was, I was really into the band program. I got really good grades. Uh, I'm a very – I'm just a very, like – I'm, very, I'm a musical nerd. Yeah, I'm a nerd. You're very about, studious about music with music, grade. obviously. Um, and when I got out, there were just no fucking jobs in the music industry, so I just looked for the easiest job to get, and it was a fluffer. And I was like, I could, I guess I could do that. So that's what no. brought you to I Hollywood. Get, I, I mean, I try to jack off, and I get myself hard. <laughs> yeah. So how hard could it be to get another dude hard? Like, like I guess, you know, yeah. it's just singing Katy Perry songs. Let's so. be real. 
guys know how to get guys hard because we have it. You know, we got the penises. Yeah, that's true. We got the meat. We got we the meat. We have the meat. <laughs> yeah. We have the meats. Arby's. There we go. Arby's. Put the logo right here. The logo. Yeah. <laughs> logo. So anyway, I, uh, um, and then, you know, obviously Jordan is the most attractive one in this band. For sure. He was a performer. Um, sometimes we would have to fluff him. And that's how we met Jordan. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, that's how I met Jordan personally. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. I think that's about right. I mean, yeah, he was uh, filling in on a DP scene, and we were just like, "Hey, man, you you know seem like a cool dude." <laughs> I find that the 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 fluffing needed for for DP scene because it's two dicks, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, goes really well with his double bass drumming. That's true. Yeah, he does yeah. it with one foot, dude. He's all about foot stuff. All about foot stuff. He's a talented yeah. man. He's a talented, talented man. man. Really can work those feet. Yeah. There's a uh, you know there's some legend that you know he actually could be while DPing. Could be doing foot stuff, you know, on even another individual. God, and we, we just have, have him playing it. drums. And what we just have him playing with drums. I mean, utilizing his talents. <laughs> 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 it's fucking stupid. Yeah. I know. It's, it's maybe, we'll, uh, maybe we'll at least make a video where we're all strippers. Maybe. Oh, I yeah. don't know. Maybe, oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe we, could we would all like to see in. that, right? Yeah. Like maybe know. like one of us is like a doctor. I think if we were all different things, yeah. Yeah, if we were like different Dude, things. Dude, if I had like a like a Burt Reynolds mustache and I was like, yeah, 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 really yeah that'd good. be cool. Ugh. But we should only do it like at like three in the morning though. Like if we did a music video like that. I Bro. mean, it's hard to be a male stripper at any other time of the day. <laughs> I mean, true. honestly, 3 p.m. What are you doing stripper? like elementary school assemblies Fuck, at 10.30 yeah. in the morning? Like, yeah. no. That's not, where the, that's not where the work the is. Elementary <laughs> school assemblies and being a stripper are right there on the cusp I'm going to so stop, stop talking about schools in the context of our, <laughs> yeah. of our male pornography stuff. We're you know, actually, it. I also feel like we got all the clips. You know, we can talk about normal stuff now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we should we cut and then do it? Yeah, another? let's cut. Let's do a cut. How, how long are we even going? What's What are we at right now? Can you see, Chase? Are we at 30 even yet? 